Today we are going to talk about electromyography, specifically how to use the DELSI's EMG system through the Vicon motion capture system. What is EMG? EMG stands for electromyography. EMG measures the electrical signal produced by action potentials as motor units are activated in skeletal muscle. The magnitude and frequency of electrical signals measured indicates the activity of the muscle being monitored. DELSI's Chegno is a wireless EMG system. The system measures muscle activity by measuring the speed and strength of action potentials traveling between two points. DELSI's Chegno makes use of dual contact system in which both points are located on the same sensor. The sensor is capable of wireless transmission up to 40 meters and has a battery life of up to 8 hours. The DELSI's Chegno system has three basic components. 1. The base station, 2. The power supply, and 3. The wireless EMG sensors. In addition, a sync port must be used in order to synchronize data from the Delsys Trigno system and Vicon. The first component is the base station. The base station serves as a hub for the Delsys Trigno system. It transfers data between the wireless EMG sensors and the computer. Furthermore, it acts as a charging station for the EMG sensors, while also serving as a handy carrying case for the Delsys Trigno system. Next, there's the power supply. The Delsys Trigno system operates using a straightforward power supply that plugs directly into the base station. The wireless EMG sensors are what set the Delsys Trigno system apart from other EMG systems. Like most EMG systems, the system utilizes contact in multiple points along the muscle as this will allow the system to measure the propagation of action potentials across two points while also canceling out noise. The DELSI system places both contacts on the same sensor unit. There are also two additional contacts which act as an additional noise canceling references. If you look at the EMG sensor, you will see that there is an arrow as well as a button and a small LED. The button turns the sensor on and off. The LED indicates the status of the sensor. When the sensor is turned on, the LED will turn green and it will begin to flash until it pairs with the base station. Once the sensor pairs with the base station, the LED will flash once per second to indicate that the data is streaming. The sensor will automatically begin to change or charge when it is placed in the base station. If the sensor is charging, the LED will turn amber. The arrow on the EMG sensor indicates the orientation of the contacts on the sensor. The contacts are positioned in a series parallel to the arrow. When placing the EMG sensor, the sensor should be orientated over the belly or centroid of the muscle with the arrow parallel to the muscle fiber. Well, this tutorial is for the EMG component of the DELSI system. Each DELSI Trigno EMG sensor contains a three-axis accelerometer as well as an as well as EMG capabilities. Lastly, there's the sync port. In addition to the Delsys Trigno system, it's also necessary to have a sync port. The sync port serves to synchronize the data from the Delsys Trigno wireless EMG with data from the Vicon system. The sync port ensures that the timing of EMG events can be matched with the timing of data from the Vicon system, such as motion capture recordings and force traces. Our setup utilizes the Delsys trigger module as a sync port. Delsys Trigno allows you to use multiple third-party programs to interface with the EMG system. We will be using Vicon's motion capture system to interface with the wireless EMG. The Vicon system allows you to view the EMG and accelerometer data for the EMG sensors while facilitating the parallel analysis of data collected using Vicon's motion capture and force trace capabilities. The following video will show how to connect the Delsys Trigno and Vicon systems in order to collect EMG data through the Vicon system. First, go to the Windows tab. Scroll up to the Delsys Inc. tab and open the Delsys Control Utility from the drop-down menu. This must be opened before collecting EMG data through the Vicon program. Opening the Delsys Control Utility resets the base station. 
When the control utility opens, you will see that each EMG sensor is shown along with its status. If the sensors are not paired upon opening the control panel, you can pair them by clicking on the round power button located on each sensor. This will cause the yellow status light to turn green, indicating that the sensor is paired. Once the sensors are paired, click on the start button. This will cause the base station to start sending out data from the EMG sensors. The control utility must be running at all times while collecting EMG data. We are not going to collect data in this video, so we will leave the Delsus control utility off. After opening the Delsus control utility, you now open the Vicon program. Click on the Vicon Nexus 2.5.1 shortcut located on the desktop. Once this is opened, you will see a depiction of the Vicon motion capture system in the lab, and the cameras will begin connecting. On the left hand side, you will see the recording frequency setting. Make sure that this is set to 250 Hz with EMG. Now, go down to the Devices tab. Click on Add Digital Device, and then select Add Delsus Trigno System. You have now paired the Delsus Trigno system with Vicon. There are a few things you should be aware of when using the Delsus Trigno system through Vicon. The first is simply to make sure that everything is plugged in and turned on. The second is to make sure that you open and start the Delsus control utility before attempting to collect data through Vicon. Lastly, while the Delsus Trigno system is optimized to avoid RF interference from most commercially available products, it is recommended that any unnecessary 2.4 GHz sources be removed from the recording environment in order to ensure interference-free communication.